Ow. Hot. Whew. Welcome to our latest video. Here is a face and voice you are not used to seeing. Make sure to stay until the end of the video, the very end, to see some special, never before seen footage and outtakes that I think you'll all enjoy greatly. Take it away, Ludo. What's up, everybody? Mark with Cardavox Academy here, and today we're doing something kind of different. Um, I, feel, I say that all the time, but really, we are doing something kind of different. I am doing something kind of different. I'm doing something kind of fun, and I just wanted, you know, I was thinking about the new year. I was thinking about how 2021 is wrapping up. We're coming into 2022, and I was like, what's the best way for me to for me to commemorate this fine event? And I decided I think the best way is to honestly say a huge thank you to everyone, give you some details about the channel, give you some thoughts about where it's going, um, and maybe even give you a little insight into how about how Cardavox Academy started, where it came from, because sometimes people ask me that, and, and it might be interesting for all of you to know. So that being said, this this won't be like super short, like it's not going to be like just a just like a little thank you and then goodbye, um, because I, I just I honestly like I have a lot of feelings and I just want to talk with all of you about them because they're good feelings and uh, I like when I feel good. I want to share it with all of you. That's that's kind of that's kind of what we do here. We get excited about music and we learn and we listen and we have a good time together. So let's let's do some more of that. So 2021 was wild. 2021 was a really big year because it was a lot of things that I never really expected uh, would happen when I started this whole Cardavox Academy thing. And we'll get more into that in a little bit. But I mean, we had we had videos going up. I've met so many amazing people. I've been able to film videos with so many cool people. And uh, it's it's just been it's just been massive. I've discovered a lot of new music. I've gotten into genres that I did not like before, you know, because this this whole Carnivox Academy project, this business that we're running here, um, this thing that we're doing has has kind of forced me to open my eyes in ways that I didn't before. Um, and that's been a lot of fun. And it's it's been a little scary sometimes. It's gotten me a little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, there have been times and again, we'll talk about this more in a little bit, but there have been times during this year where I've literally just sat here in this very room and been like, what the hell am I even doing? Um, and then there have been other times where I'm like, this is the most amazing thing ever. And it's been an absolute roller coaster. Um, and I want to talk about it a little bit, but I want to front load the most important part of this video uh, right here. I think I should do the best part first, because after all, um, we know that uh, that YouTube videos, the viewership goes down like this as time goes on. So I want to make sure I do my thank yous first, because that's the most important part, because even though it's only my face you see in these videos, literally nothing that I have done has been on my own. And so it's really important that I give recognition to the people who matter to me in my life and have helped me grow um, in, in many different ways. So here we go. Now, these are in no particular order. I'm just going to kind of rattle them off as they come to mind. Um, so don't put too much weight into what is placed where, except for this one. Um, this one is definitely first for a very good reason. And my first thank you goes to my wife, my beautiful, lovely wife. If she was here, I would uh, I would force her to come on camera and, and wave at all of you. But she is she's off at the aquarium with our niece and nephew. So she she got out of this one. She got out of it. But my first thank you goes to my wife because she has endured a lot this running card of Ox Academy, even with with the team that I have, it's a small team, but I, but we have one. Um, and even with even with all the help I get it takes a lot of my time. And so she has really been willing to to accept some of those sacrifices that I've had to make so that I can pursue my my dream of somehow making a living in music in, in, in some fashion. Right. Um, she has you know, she has taken over so many things around the house. Uh, she's encouraged me when I felt down. She's she's told me to to keep at it. Um, she's made me laugh on days when I did not want to laugh or did not feel like laughing was even an activity worth doing. Um, and, uh, you know, if anything, she she is as happy with all of our successes as I am, maybe even more so than me. So to my loving wife, Katie, I love you. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me. And so I couldn't I couldn't have done it without you. I mean, think about it. I went into business for myself in the middle. Well, I don't know what the well, we don't know what the end point is. So who's to say the middle? But I went into business for myself, like kind of at a height of a global pandemic. I was like, listen, I know we can't find any toilet paper at the grocery store. 
and I know all the canned goods are gone from our local grocery store. That's true. That happened. N almost all the canned goods were gone. And I looked at her and I was like, what if I quit my job? What do you think of that? And she took a couple of days to think of it, but she was like, let's do it. So like, I'm a lucky guy. Let's face it. Thank you, Katie. I love you lots. Couldn't do without you. Also, a huge thank you that I have to give is to my business partner, Alex. Um, this channel would not be what it is. Without Alex, I wouldn't have the students that I have. Without Alex, um, I wouldn't have been able to quit my job. Uh, without Alex, it's been it's been absolutely huge. We'll talk a little bit more later about how um how we we kind of crossed paths. He lives in the UK. I've actually never met him in person. Um, but he's we run this thing together very close and in tandem. And you know, he anybody who's in our Discord knows that sometimes we we bicker uh like like a like a like a old like an old kind of kind of grumpy married couple um but we we couldn't do this without each other and so alex i greatly appreciate you he's the one who convinced me to do uh reaction videos uh which i did not want to do fervently um and boy was that a watershed moment for for us so um the the mind behind much of the creative choices here um the the person who has encouraged me to, uh, you know, be a little bit more outgoing, to sell myself a little bit more, to have a little bit more confidence when I didn't have it. Uh, Alex, greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And actually, speaking of Alex, uh, why don't we go ahead and make his channel debut? He's got like this cool. So we had this whole project. It didn't really pan out. We're hoping to get it going this coming year. But we had like a cool little like avatar made for him. Like you see, um, like you see some people make this was made by our friend Riley of Riley Smith uh, design. Uh, we'll link his Instagram um, in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's let's have let's have Alex go ahead and uh, and give you a thank you. Here you go. This may make this may make me a little unpopular straight out the gate, but I still think I should have been mentioned first. Anyway, I'm Alex, the ghost of Cardbox Academy. You'll occasionally hear my name hallowed across our videos, but you'll mainly get to know me and my tendency to rule with an iron fist if you've joined our Patreon community. But if you've ever left a comment or sent in an email, you've probably crossed across my proverbial desk. And I'd just like to say thank you so much for supporting Mark and I on this crazy endeavor. We couldn't do it without the passion, energy, and commitment that all of you have shown us. So thank you for sharing your feedback, your opinions, your stories, your feelings in the comments across all of our videos. Thank you for emailing us and trusting us with your vocal development to guide you on your vocal journey. For those not in the know, I'm the guy that speaks to our guests and gets them to come on the channel. I also directly work with labels, PR reps and managers to bring on guests and secure the best content for the channel. Thank you to all the PR people and labels and managers who have worked with us up to this point, including Napalm Records, Century Media Records, Nuclear Blast, A Rising Empire, Believe Music, Atom Splitter, Nikki Law, and many more. You guys make this, you know, easier <laughs> and, and pleasurable to deal with and very much looking forward to making, uh, you know, better relationships and more relationships uh, this year. Thank you to all the artists and guests that have collaborated with us. Your time and energy is incredibly appreciated. And it's been a lot of fun just hanging with you and making content with you and even having you come and meet our patrons and students. Uh, it's been awesome. I'm really looking forward to doing more stuff with you this year, as well as adding uh, more guests to the channel. Uh, so I'd just like to give a quick thank you to Justin, Elizabeth, Chris, Dickie, Johnny, Dennis, Brittany, Melissa, Zelly, Phil, Ben, Luke, Dan, Joe, Casey, and Mike. A couple of whom videos haven't even surfaced on the channel yet. When we first started doing co-reactions, it was still something that wasn't really done. And I remember having conversations with people and people being very skeptical uh, at first. But it's amazing that you know people really come around and and seen the value of the videos, and so we're really looking forward to uh, you know doing more content like that, finding ways to maximize the value for everyone. Because I think you know we learn a lot in those videos, uh, not just about vocals, but like about the people, and I think they're awesome. I'm really really proud of the co-reactions in particular. Thank you to everyone who entered the Cardbox tournament in 2020. Uh, you know, we haven't spoken too much about that lately, but only that was a big part of our journey. 
there was a ton of work, something that uh, I, I put together, but I had a lot of fun doing it and learned a lot. You know, well over 100 people entered, and I was so proud to unveil the winners of the tournament last year. Um, I've definitely been working on, uh, you know, a 2.0 that I hope to unveil this year uh, in the coming months. So, you know, if you are interested in that, uh, please do keep an eye out. Uh, you know, obviously we'll make a video about it on the channel, we'll update, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, just, you know, we'd love to see you enter and have fun with it. Anyway, the end is in sight for this belabored Oscars speech. Uh, while working with Mark over the last two plus years, I've had the honor of meeting a ton of wonderful and inspiring people through our student and patron base, some of whom have become some of the most important people in my life. I'd like to quickly shout out our community mod team. We'd be lost without you. Marley, Bearcore, Ludo, Corey, Bluey, Malcolm, and KJ, who have become some of my closest friends as well. You know, as well as certain students and community members that made a huge personal impact on me in no particular order, Kat, Bree, Lena, Chad, Jemima, Connor, Joe, Jackson, Chris, Mitch, Tina, Devon, Bobo, Kane, Matt, Jack, Nick, Scotty, Ethan, Manor. Frankly, I could keep going, but I can actually feel the watch time graph of this video dying before my very eyes. So I'll just say, if ever you've given us the time of day, thank you. Mark and I have a ton of really cool plans in 2022, and I hope that you stick with us and keep enjoying what we put out. Oh, and one final thing, come and join our community. It's super fun, and Cardavots Karaoke in particular is a blast. Oh, and we have received a lot of requests for streaming in the last few months. If you would like to see Mark and I do some streaming that involves us doing live, shorter reactions to songs that won't necessarily make it onto the channel for a full video, drop some super chats on this video, as that will help me convince Mark this is something we should definitely do. Also, I've got our video editor, Ludo. He just recently jumped on about a month or two ago, um, and he's been amazing. He has helped us with our branding. All of the design came from a buddy of mine, Raul, who runs Eagle and Bison, uh, his own personal design company. And um, Ludo, who lives out in the Netherlands, has been amazing at, you know, um, uh, animating everything and, and making the videos clear and concise, cutting out some of the moments where I ramble on and on and say the same thing six times. The illusion of how professional I am would not exist, and a, a heavy emphasis on the word illusion, um, would not exist without Ludo knowing how to make me uh, make my videos much more watchable and much more digestible. He has sacrificed evenings where things didn't go the way we wanted to, and we had to have a video edited, posted, and prepared and claimed for the next day. So uh, huge thank you to Ludo. I, I greatly appreciate everything you've done and I'm glad that you're editing videos for us. It means a lot. I'd also like to thank the other YouTubers I've kind of come across in, uh, in the community. There has been a lot that we have learned about running a YouTube channel. Um, I didn't know what I was doing when I first uploaded those videos back in the day. I uploaded them thinking maybe they would get a couple hundred uh, views and I, I actually mostly did them to, did it? Yeah, we're keeping that in. I just said did it. I mostly made them with the effort of people, routing people to my 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 musical project with my friend uh, Nico, Alex, and Sean, uh, our, our band called Kardashev. Um, but then this kind of grew to its, its own thing and some of the people that have been kind of instrumental, I think, in our our ability to do this have been um you know Kirk and Elizabeth from the charismatic charismatic voice they really taught us how to read YouTube analytics how to understand what all these numbers mean um they taught us <laughs> they taught us how to be a little bit more strategic with our videos you know so that we could hear a little bit more of what the what the crowd was saying what people wanted to view and you know we could still be fun and genuine but maybe be a little bit more successful and we we wouldn't have had that without the charismatic voice so that's a huge one um we really appreciate you both for that i've also gotten to know a couple other uh youtubers not many uh not many but i've gotten to know a couple other youtubers pretty well um through this uh there's tank of course tank the tech he and i uh we have a discord well not just he and i uh a bunch of us um 
YouTube reactor types. Um, we have a, a Discord that we will all chat in uh, from time to time. And uh, he's hooked us up with uh, some music industry people that he knows because uh, he's, you know, just like Alex is, has, a, has a good plug in with the music industry. Tank does as well. I mean, he's toured with everybody. Right. So um, he's he's given us a couple contacts, uh, met up with him when I was out in Tennessee working on the Kardashev album. Really cool, dude. Appreciate you um, helping us out and uh, just, you know, being being a fun person to talk to in the uh, chat. And then there's Julia, Julia. Nil I always I you know, someday I'm going to ask her how to say is it nylon, nylon, nylon? I don't know. Um, you, here I am saying like I, I consider this person a friend and a colleague, but I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say the name of the channel. Whoops. Um, Julia has been a really big help as well. Um, Julia actually gave me some tips on uh, reaching my own higher register because this new album that we've been working on, um, there were some parts that were just challenging and were out of my wheelhouse and not what I had done before. And she was gracious enough to jump on a call with me and kind of give me some new non death metal and death core ways of understanding the voice because, you know, we all have room to grow, including myself. And Certain parts of this album wouldn't really exist with the uh, without the advice that she gave me. So, Julia, also awesome to to talk with you as well. Um, and I appreciate you. I appreciate the help that you gave me. And if anybody, I'd be surprised if anybody watching this hasn't heard of those channels, but we'll link them in the description below. Um, and uh, and yeah, you should you should absolutely go check out their content because it's 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 good and fun stuff. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to our patrons. Um, our patrons have become such such a fun community. If if you're not familiar, we do have a Patreon and most of what we do exists on our Discord. And it's it's so it's so crazy the the community that that has been built there. Um, we've got people from all around the world uh, who who have shown up, who have wanted to help, who have wanted to contribute. People who make the craziest, funniest, most trolling jokes, um, all, many times at my expense. Um, but they're so funny. Like it, like, come on, you gotta laugh. Right. Um, and, uh, it's just a lot of fun. I, I feel like I, I know some of these people really well. And one thing I want to do this coming year is, you know, find a way to manage my time a little bit better so I can be more active in there because we have gatherings, listening parties or game nights pretty much every Friday. We do two vocalist themed events, uh, per month on Mondays, although that might change. We might, we might pick a day and time that's a little bit more friendly to our European patrons. And it's just a lot of fun. I love being in there. I really appreciate when I do open it up and I see everybody having these great conversations and it's, it's, it's been absolutely great. And that's a really good segue into our mods. You know, we do have a mod team. And when I say the community that has been built, I say it that way for a reason, because, you know, I, I started, I planted the little seed with Alex, but Alex and Bluey and Malcolm and Bree and Corey and Marley um, and if I'm forgetting anybody, I, I greatly apologize. Oh, Bear, there, <laughs> yeah. Listen, Bear is an integral. Bear is an integral. Uh, uh, KJ, these are integral, integral people um, in the way that that our Discord runs. Uh, and it wouldn't have grown, and it wouldn't be what it is without these folks. Honestly, making sure that it's a safe and fun and um, including environment when I'm not able to be there, um, I never have to worry. I never have to worry about bullying or gatekeeping or you know people having awful bigoted ideas because i know that i have good people helping me out and that's invaluable i could not i could not express how much that has been a huge help so thank you to all those mods that i just mentioned i mean bluey and malcolm they even stepped up they were like yo we want to they're the reason we have the vocalist themed events wasn't my idea they came came forward and they're like mark we know you're really busy um what if we hosted these vocal themed events and you can show up, but we'll, we'll run it. We got this. Um, both of which are, are, uh, students of mine. And I was like, you know what? That's a really good idea. This will give you some good, some good experience, kind of flexing your, flexing your instructional muscles a little bit. So why not? So like, how cool is that? How cool is that that they just had an idea and they wanted to do it and they're seeing it out. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. And I love it. So thank you so much for that. I would also like to thank my students, uh, very, very directly because, um, my students are what have changed my life in maybe the most tangible way. I mean, let's face it. When you email about lessons and you decide to sign up for lessons, you're saying, Mark, I, I trust you with my voice and my mo vocal journey. I, I trust you to understand what I need and, and to deliver on that. And that's a huge amount of responsibility that I, that I am humbled and thankful that you, you have, have chosen to that you've chosen to undertake that journey with me because let's be honest 
I'm not the only person who does this. We know that. We're very aware of that. And you know, there are the other people who 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 do very similar, if not the same thing uh, to what I do. They have different specialties. They might be a little bit better at this. They might be a little bit better at that. Um, whereas I have my own specialties. And so I'm not under the illusion that people are only watching my channel. So um, I just I'm so thankful that you have reached out, that we're working on lessons together, um, some of which have been vocalists who are already really good. They just needed to learn how to stop feeling pain in their throat or they needed a little bit of help getting that high vocal a little bit higher or a little bit of help getting that low vocal lower. I've had a couple people uh, students come to me for clean singing. They just they were like, why do I sound like I'm just talking? Why can't I create like a, a good tone? And I have learned so much from this process as, as well, because, you know, before this and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment, but before this, uh, my communication was not very good and I'm still like in person, sometimes a little a little bit of an awkward communicator. Um, and to be a good teacher, I've really learned you have to be able to size up your student very quickly, understand mentally what their blocks are, and then take that understanding and translate it into a way that they'll understand. And the immense amount of patience and and uh, support I've received from my students has really helped me grow, not just as a teacher, not just as a vocalist, not just as a content creator, but just as like a core person myself. Because, uh, you know, my wife's family has this joke that they didn't think I knew how to talk for the first two years that she and I were together. Um, and now I can go into social situations much more, much more comfortably. Still a little awkward sometimes, but um, I like I'm I'm in many ways a different person because because of all the interaction I've had with all of you, and that means a lot. And watching your successes, watching your growth is tremendous to me. For any of you who are curious, we have a playlist, Cardivox Alumni. Um, it's certainly not everybody because a lot of the people who come uh, for lessons are beginners, hobbyists. They don't actually have really anything to record with. Um, but this playlist is a lot of people I've worked with, some of which came in and like, listen, they already sounded awesome. Um, I just had to tweak a couple things and a couple of others are people who we really kind of helped build from the ground up. And uh, I don't know, it's been amazing. And I'm, I'm humbled by that entirely. And then last but absolutely not least uh, is is all of you, the people who um, have watched the channel, who have subscribed, who have clicked the stupid, silly little thumbnails because like, listen, you got to play the game. I get it. You get it. We all know it. Right. Um, who have clicked the thumbnails and who have watched the content. Um, even if you didn't watch the whole video, just watched it enough for YouTube to count it as a view, whoever that, however long that may be, I don't know. Um, like, thank you so entirely much. I, I wish there was a, a more palpable, a more, a more uh, tangible word in the English language than just thank you. Because like, like I said, when I started this, I had no anticipation. Uh, if somebody told me that I would have had 100 subscribers, I would have been very surprised because, again, this was really something for me to do mostly for fun and uh, really to get more eyes on Kardashev, you know, the, the, the band that I'm the vocalist in. And I didn't expect any of this to happen. So sitting here now um, in 2021, you all are the reason we moved past a, or moved, got that goal. This, this silver thing right here, right? I, I didn't, I just got on camera and jumped around a little bit. You're all the ones who, who, who helped me get that right. A hundred thousand subscribers, me and Alex and our team. Like we, we all have you to thank for that. We like, uh, we, um, I had a, I had a reaction video go over a million views. Like what? Like that's wild. A million people thought that that was at least worth watching enough for that other I mean, 948,000 hours of watch time, like 7.5 million views. I understand. We're still kind of small fry in the YouTube world. And honestly, if if this is as big as the channel really ever grows, I'm going to still feel pretty good about it because this is so much a nod of what I anticipated. And sometimes I wish that there was a better way for, for me to really relate to you how much this has all meant to me because this situation uh, was what pulled me out of a really dark place. Um, this situation is is the this video, like the reason I'm talking to all of you um, is because you all had faith in me and in my video that it was at least worth watching and at least OK enough to push the like button. Um, that's. Wild and. I don't I still don't fully understand how it happened, um, but. Thank you. <laughs> like, 
and, and for for any of your continued support um you're amazing you're wonderful you're you're valuable um and even if you watched one and you never watched another one even that is 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 sometimes i feel like more than i deserve so thank you all very much for that now i want to talk a little bit about where cardivox academy is is going because um That'll give you all an idea of what to expect in this year to come. Uh, but to understand that, it's kind of important, I think, or, or I suppose could be helpful to understand kind of why the channel exists, where it came from, how it started. Um, and I'll keep it short. I'll keep it brief. Uh, anyone who knows me personally, and especially my students, know that I can kind of be a little bit long winded. And being aware of that, I um, I will try to check myself here and, and, and only keep it to the details. But essentially... Um, Cardivox Academy started because Kardashev put up a video of me doing a vocal playthrough of uh, a song, our song Beyond Sun and Moon out in the woods. Now, I absolutely still do not think that this is a very good performance. Um, at the time, we were hiking up in Flagstaff. I didn't know that I had heart issues. Um, you know, earlier this year, I had a, I, I had a really big scare with my heart and, you know, I went to the doctor and they were like, Hey, you, you're 33, but you have the heart of a 63 year old. Um, and so I didn't know that. So I was like dying in that video. I was out of practice because I wasn't, I was a vocal coaching. We were between albums and I admittedly hadn't been keeping up my voice quite the way that I should have been. Um, I was out of, out of shape. My heart was pounding. Um, and I did this video and I was embarrassed to put it up, right? Uh, because a lot of the singing, it's a little off key, right? Um, <clears throat> but the comments on that video were so supportive. Um, and I remember looking through that video and being like, what? Like, why on, like, this, this performance is not that great. How, how are people... How are people um, feeling that? And I think that part of that is me being my own worst critic and, you know, a little bit of imposter syndrome there for sure. But um, it it was a boost of confidence I'd never felt before. Um, and it's amazing how little encouragement um, we need. And that's something I try to carry with the channel. You know, my effort with these videos is, of course, to entertain and to teach, right? But it's also to to encourage you because that encouragement I got in that moment when people watched that video and they said nice things to me lifted me out of such a dark place. And I want to make people feel that way. I, I want people to realize that even if you're not, you know, an amazing vocalist now, there is a little seed of talent wrapped up inside of you. Like there is talent that can grow. Um, it just needs encouragement and effort. And if I can give you, I can't give you effort, that's on you. But if I can give you encouragement, like that, that's, I think that's, that's the, that's the best way I can give back because so much of this is because of, of the encouragement that I got. Um, you know, when I read those comments in that video, I had just recently gotten out of the hospital. Um, I won't go too, too much into it because it's not really valuable. Um, but I basically had had a huge mental breakdown. Um, I, I had basically given up. Um, the reason I went into the hospital was to just say that I had tried my best and I had done everything I could do uh, before I officially like gave up on life, so to speak. You you know what I'm inferring. Um, and that was a really hard place for me to be because I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt how I felt. We'll just leave it there. Um, but coming out of that situation in a couple weeks later, or, or maybe, maybe a couple months, I'm not gonna lie, that time in my life was a little bit of a blur. Might've been longer than that. Seeing these videos, I was like, there is something I can actually do that will make an impact on the people around me. And I might not be the best vocalist and I might not be the best singer, but I can teach people how to do what I'm doing and I can probably help them do it better than me. Um, and that's the passion that started this whole thing, right? Now, mixed in with that are all the people who helped me get here. Um, but I did this because I wanted to feel like I was making an impact in people's lives. And I wanted to feel like I could I could help people achieve something that they absolutely have the ability to achieve. Um, they just maybe need a little nudge, a little nudge and a little a little fire under their ass, so to speak. Um, and that being said, it's a good time for for me to sort of transition into what I'm seeing for 2022 um, and some of the changes that I think need to be made for me to to get that to continue getting that that fulfillment and to continue being able to to do that for people. 
Now, before anybody asks, yes, we're going to still be, be making videos. They're going to still be coming out as frequently as we can make them come out. We're going to be still doing a lot of reaction videos because that's our bread and butter. It's fun for me to do. I enjoy doing them. It has exposed me, like I said earlier in this video, is it, ex it has exposed me to a tremendous amount of new music that I never would have encountered before. And it's really broadened my horizons. So we're absolutely going to continue doing reaction videos. That's that's totally still on the table. That being said, however, I need a little variety in my life. I, I think if I only do reaction videos through, through this next year, I might reach a point of burnout from which there is no return. I don't feel that way now, but one thing about about that I've learned from about mental health is to is to identify things very early. Um, do I feel burnt out now? No. Do I still love making reaction videos? Absolutely. However, in late November and December, I got to the point where it would be time to record a reaction video. And my initial response was, uh, now I have to do that now. Whereas before it was like, it's, it's time to record. I'm excited. Let's do this. So that's that that is my that is my understanding of my own my own mental and emotional mind uh, that I need to spice things up. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to look like yet. I do have a video series that I've been wanting to do for about a year, but in all honesty, I was worried how it would affect the algorithm because it might not get as much traction. And I think that that's part of I think that that's part of what has, you know, maybe held back a little bit of growth is is my uh, slight fear of our, you know, our the great deity in the sky, the YouTube algorithm that nobody understands. Listen, nobody understands it. If they tell you they do, they're lying um, or they're just overconfident. Um, but um, yeah, but I think that it's going to be very important. My main idea with this now is that um, it would essentially be a lot of things that are very important to the journey of becoming a vocalist that as far as I can tell, nobody's talking about currently. Uh, these are not secrets hidden in ancient temples in the depths of the jungle. Um, I'm not going to bring be bringing forth, you know, necessarily anything that like uh, nobody has has ever said in the past. But right now in the popular meta of the conversation of vocals, um, I notice that there are a lot of things that are being overlooked. And these are the things that in my lessons usually make my students go boom, like make a little light go off for them. Um, and they're things that are really important. They're things that are really important for uh, for your vocal health. And I know that most of the people who watch my channel are going to continue to self-teach. And, you know, if I can just give you a little nugget that's going to keep you safe or a little nugget that'll, that'll help you think of things differently, um, that's going to be super helpful. So, you know, I probably won't be putting up a video of like, here's how to do a false chord vocal. That sort of stuff is in my reaction videos. Um, and let's be honest, that stuff is all over the Internet. There are plenty of YouTube channels who have said that already. They've said it very well. Uh, there are some who have not said it very well, uh, but there are some who have said it really well and and, and great. And you know, I I I want to bring as much value as I can. So I think if I if I you know start here and I'm like here is a false chord vocal. Um, that's not the best use of that video. Uh, I want to I want to talk to people about things such as mindset, things such as how to know what you're feeling, how to choose which vocal coach to go to might not be me. You might you might watch the video, uh, a video where I talk about that and you might be like, wow, thank you, Mark. You're not the guy for me. But now I know that for sure. And that's that is you picking the best person is better than me getting your it's more important than me getting your business. Um, and I, I really think that that's something that should be talked about. So that's kind of down the road. Alex and I also have a lot of ideas uh, for like uh, other types of content. I'll keep that close to the chest for now. Um, uh, it's not really seen the light of day because quite frankly, our team is very small. It's me, Alex, uh, as far as like our actual production team. Um, but it's it's me, Alex and Ludo um, and resources are resources as far as time and, and ability are, are a little bit limited. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. I also think it'd be cool to get some some vocal covers, M me doing the vocal cover up on the channel. Um, I've avoided that predominantly in 2021 because we were writing an album and between lessons and, you know, coming up with my own music, I just didn't have time to be listening, l learning another band's, uh, songs. I I'm not one of the people who can listen to a song once and just memorize it. That's not a skill that I have. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, when I'm done working, like I like to hang out with my wife. I like to watch TV and have dinner and, you know, cuddle my dog and, and step away from music for a little while. I, I don't have the the emotional fortitude or the mental endurance to literally live, eat, drink and breathe music 99% of the day. I have I have to keep it to like 80%. So um, 
I think it would just be a handful of covers. I'm not going to make this a cover channel because to be honest, I'm not really interested uh, in, in making a cover channel. But if I had, you know, five or six videos spread out randomly throughout the year, just kind of showing different techniques, uh, just kind of showing different things to ha that, that you can do. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, they wouldn't all be metal because, like I said, I need variety in my life. Um, and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff you can do that's not metal, folks. Um, obviously, we're all metal people, but uh, there's a lot outside of it. So maybe some covers. We'll see. No promises. Who's to say? If you'd like to see some covers, let me know in the comments below. Now, that being said, uh, folks, it's been about 30 minutes that I've been recording this video, and that's probably long enough. Um, I'm sure once Ludo edits it and cuts out all the parts of me uh, that are unnecessary and not contributing to the actual video, uh, it'll be shorter. But again, I, I really want to say, like, I, I am so incredibly thankful that you have all helped me um, make vocal coaching and YouTube my literal full time job. Uh, that allows me to not work in call centers where they are worried about the amount of bathroom t breaks I take in a day um, or, you know, working for for corporate structures where, you know, if my wife got sick, they would make me feel guilty for taking her to the hospital. And I hope I hope that my videos and my teaching, if you're a student of mine, um, can be a drop in the bucket of what helps you get out of that uh, corporate grind as well. Um, Cause I would love, I would love everybody to have the opportunity to not work for bosses who don't care about you. I'd love for everybody to get out of the corporate capitalist grind. That is currently the modern era um, in many countries. Uh, I'd love all of you to, to, to be able to live on your talents and on your merits, not just, you know, how much you can be exploited by, by the people who, think that they own you when they don't. Um, I'm treading the water. I'm, I'm treading the line of strong opinions that I don't share on the channel. So I'll, I'll, I'll pull it back there. But if if I can be a piece of the puzzle that helps some of you leave your your unsatisfying jobs and start a career in music, um, if I'm 1% of that and your hard work and effort is the other 99% of that, I'm going to be really pleased and I'm going to be really happy. So with that being said, thank you all so much for for this opera oppor awesome opportunity that you have given me. Uh, I would not I would not be doing any of this without you, and I'm excited to continue doing it through 2022 and uh, to be one of the many talented folks who who brings quality educational uh, vocal content to you. And as always, many thanks, much love. I'm out. So last year, so last year, I wanted to make a Cardavox game show, something experimental and weird that kind of mixed a lot of what we do with our co-reactions, but kind of a deeper dive, as well as also having a lot of fun and uh, creating this kind of uh, slightly competitive fish out of water element, uh, including also putting Mark through the ringer. And it was basically just very inspired by... Um, uh, my love of British TV and various other things um, to just make fun of our guest and Mark. Um, we filmed an experimental pilot last year with uh, Justin uh, from Tala, who's a good friend of the channel. And that's that's basically it. Um, it's not going to see the light of day in its current form, uh, but we learned a lot by making it and actually really hope to make something like it uh, later this year. Um, but uh, we, we did actually show the pilot to our patrons um, a few months ago in a special watch party. And I just actually wanted to share a couple of uh, you know, highlighted outtakes uh, for all you guys that made it to the end of this very long video. Uh, thank you again for all of your support. Uh, I hope you enjoy these silly little uh, uh, bites. Um, and, you know, I hope to do this and a lot more cool stuff uh, this year. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy.
Okay, and that sound means we are done with Trapped Under Ice. We managed to smash that ice. It's time to move on to our next segment, but first, let me just grab a random question from the internet. This is a question for Justin from Cram from Vardacox. <laughs> what does LED mean? Flashback. Question for you. Um, so what does LED stand for? Because it's not, you know, it's the t- main oh, name of the man. song. This this is the twist. Okay. It actually stands for light emitting diode. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> all right, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that wasn't my best moment. <laughs> A lot of people that don't wasn't know my best this, moment. but it stands oh for God. light emitting diode. So for amazing. <laughs> Moving on to That Could Have Gone Better, something Justin quietly whispers to himself after every visit with his mother. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Alex Carter, everyone. Alex Carter. He's here all week. <laughs> okay, so um, our next segment, and the first where we actually talk about music, yay, is From First to Last where, as the name might suggest, we'll take a look at your first released song and compare it to your latest single. Take a look at the both similarities and differences. Hopefully, there will be differences, although if you're a deathcore band, maybe not. That took a moment to register. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, that you're, went, you're, that you're went pun- right you're, over you're my pun- head, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> you're punching our business model, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Alex, yep. three seconds. Do the sign off. Three, two, one, go. Much love. Much. F- <laughs> oh, God. No. All right. Let's just, just try this again. Alex. Much love. Alex. Yeah. All right. So this yep. is going to go on the video. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, Alex, do the sign off in three, two, one, go. We appreciate you. Much love. Sign up to Patreon. Give me money. I'm poor. Thank you. (laughs) I like that one better than the first one. (laughs) 